This is the first video in a series of videos documenting my journey into game development. So grab yourself a cup of coffee and let's check it out. So, wow, growing desire to make my own video game. Of course, I've uh, done some work in Blender and Substance Painter, but learning Unreal Engine 5 is a whole new ball game. There is a lot to learn. There is so much in it and in game development in general. I've always enjoyed learning new things. Uh, I've graduated the University of YouTube many times learning Blender and film editing and also uh, welding and uh, countless other things. Even my journey into like sculpting and making my own molds was all stuff I learned through YouTube. I love this platform and everything that you can learn and experience uh, and enjoy it, uh, on it. So that's why I want to bring you my game development journey and this is the first video in a series um, like I said so first I'm gonna get into what kind of game I want to make first and foremost it is gonna be a third-person game love third-person games um, I might have an option to go first person but ultimately it is a third-person game I want to have a stylized look I think it's um, more of a timeless um, thing it, it has a longer shelf life uh, with that stylized look and I think um, that's where I, my strong suit would be is in the stylized uh, artistic feel. Uh, I wanted to have a special look to it. So I'm a huge fan of survival games. I'm a huge fan of farming simulator. So I want a game that is a Western lifestyle with crafting and survival aspects into it. Along with, I want something that's um, very story driven um, that you can spend hours in just farming, building, crafting, but then also something that you could follow along and enjoy a story. So those are my thoughts. We'll see how it goes. I've got a lot to learn. And that begins with watching lots of YouTube tutorials. The Unreal Sensei and Azeal Arts are two good ones. And then just learning to navigate Unreal Engine 5 and the UI, uh, learning what all the sliders do, importing a terrain, And then this is funny, I just, just small things, small, small victories in Krita, learning the texture tiling that it has to where it makes uh, hand painting tiled textures so much easier. It's something I uh, really are, want to accomplish with this project is hand painting my textures to get the stylized look that I'm going for. And then just learning the materials and just figuring out a lot that's going on inside Unreal Engine 5. A lot of experimentation and again, tutorials. And I really enjoy the process and thought behind uh, hand painting my textures to really create a unique stylized look that is represents you know my creativity and I can express my creativity in a unique way. I use Materialize uh, for basically my texture setup. And then frustrations in, in things not working compared to tutorials, but continuing on and building some grass in Blender and then bringing it into Unreal Engine 5 and um, figuring out the materials and wind shaders and then um, just the little, the little problems and, and, and just learning Unreal Engine 5 and the UI and all of that is, is an experience in itself. And the more I learn, the smoother this process will be. A lot of trial and error, a lot of testing sliders and going back and forth between settings. I was pretty excited to actually have a grass. There's a lot of work. I'm gonna completely rebuild this grass. Uh, it was really just a test on the, the foliage system and texturing. Um, but at the end of it, that's what I had. I had a, I had a, uh, a terrain with my own custom textures and my own custom uh, grass uh, with nanite and uh, yeah it it was frustrating and fun at the same time but look forward to building uh, the the possibilities in this engine are 
Uh, the sky's the limit. It's, it's amazing. If you would like to uh, follow me in this journey, then please like and subscribe uh, to see more because uh, I've got a long ways to go, a lot of video ideas. Uh, so thank you all and catch you next time. I wanted to share this verse with you. It's always given me uh, a lot of comfort. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Now I think we're gonna experience fear in this life. Um, there's a lot of things around us that cause us to, to fear certain things or, or what's going on around us. So it is definitely something we experience, but I don't think God wants us to submit to it because he's not given us that spirit of fear. It's, it's opposite of God. I think with ultimate faith in God, we don't have anything to fear. I think a sound mind is a hard thing um, to talk about in, in the world we live right now um, in society and with everything that has happened throughout the world and time and and right now I think having a sound mind is is becoming harder and harder but I but with faith in God he has given us that power love and sound mind and we can trust in him for that uh, just a quick note for everyone for my plans and updates on the channel um, I'm going to be working on Elk River and then my video game development, uh, my journey in video game development. So I'll, I'll be kind of uh, altering those videos between working on Elk River, uh, working on Elk River and then video game development. Uh, then throwing in some game reviews in there and then also I've got a few other uh, real life stuff with uh, real life crafting ideas. So uh, anyway, thanks for joining me and catch you next time.